Welcome to the Word of Faith coming to you from PBC Northgate. 2021 is the year of being strengthened to achieve your destiny. Want to read scripture as part of being strengthened? Meditate together and pray. We are discussing a town called Jericho. Joshua chapter 6. Joshua said to the two men who had uh, spied the, out the land, go into the prostitute's house, bring her out and all who belong to her in accordance with the oath to her. Then they burned the whole city and everything in it. But they put the silver and gold and articles of bronze and iron into the treasury of the Lord's house. At that time, Joshua pronounced this solemn oath, cast before the Lord is the one who undertakes to rebuild this city of Jericho. At the cost of his firstborn son, he will lay its foundations. At the cost of his youngest son, he will set up its gates. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame spread throughout the land. Father, we thank you for this word, and we ask that you open it up to us so that we may grow in understanding. Joshua, after the test of Jericho, spoke some words. And these words were cast over the city of Jericho. He said, cast be any man who undertakes to rebuild this city. If he does, his firstborn son will die. And as he finishes the building, the youngest son will die. Now looking at the book of 1 Kings chapter 16, verse 34, the Bible says, in Ahab's time, hell of Bethel rebuilt Jericho. He laid his foundations at the cost of his firstborn son, Abilam. He set up his gates at the cost of his youngest son, Segub, in accordance with the word of the Lord, spoken by Joshua, the son of Nun. So number one, words were spoken, and those words were active. 500 years later, in the time of King Ahab, when this man, Hiel of Bethel, tried to rebuild the city of Jericho. And because of the words that were spoken, uh, he suffered loss. This man, Hiel of Bethel, suffered loss. You also remember the story of Achan. It's told in Joshua chapter 7. Achan stole some of the Babylonian robes that were in the city of Jericho. Remember, an order had been given out. Everything in Jericho to be destroyed, except the gold and silver articles of bronze which were to go to the temple. But Achan hid some in his tent. The Bible says that Achan, his property, his family, donkeys, goats, they were stoned to death because he violated the command of God. This morning, as we consider the city of Jericho, we have an amazing lesson to learn that words, when they are spoken, even of our city, they have power. Indeed, the Proverbs say, the power of life and death is in the tongue. I pray that we be careful what words you speak over your family, over your city, over your country, and what words have been spoken over you, so that you shake. Do those words carry a blessing, or do those words carry a curse? Joshua spoke a curse over Jericho. That curse affected the family of hell of Bethel. He may not have understood it, but he suffered because the word was out and released. It's my prayer that we'll use our mouth to speak a blessing and not a curse. In the book of James chapter 3, he says there shouldn't be good water and bad water coming from the same well. So may, be, may we be a people who bless and not curse. Father, we thank you for the story of Jericho. The story of Achan, the story of Hell, the story of Rahab. Amazing people and uh, amazing stories that are told. It is my prayer that we learn the power that was in the mouth of Joshua. And uh, as too, as we serve God, we can have such power. Words that stay the distance and deliver on the promises given to the glory of God's name. And we pray this in Jesus' name. 